Welcome back, this is Yamachak, and today, Crypt Slayer, Hell on Earth, Gunslinger, let's go. Last episode we talked about my, my language nerd friend. This episode we'll talk about, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> talk about how much I don't like this area in this map. Oh my goodness, why are there so many of them? They all spawned, just like that. I don't think there's a way out over here, so we have to, like, basically push our way out with the guns. You know? Run at it, guns a-blazing, as it were. Be more accurate this time, so I don't run out of ammunition, like, immediately. Not off to a great start, but we've got ammo pickups on this map, so... I think that's an alpha clock. The one thing that's nice about this these skins is... I can see the difference between the different, like sets a lot more clearly because normally they look so similar and I'm like I don't know a clots assist the stalker they're all the same thing but now they're like clearly visibly different they're extremely distinct and uh, it's, it's mildly helpful to, to me to understanding how the game works and what things are what you know having that distinction is, uh, is kind of nice to a certain extent But then I'm also like, yeah, but have you seen the Gorefast and the Scrake and the Gore Fiends yet? They kind of suck. And I'm like, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, you're, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. They do suck. I like talking about things that people are passionate about, but... For some reason, when I'm talking about things that I'm passionate about... I find it a lot harder. I enjoy it. I, I believe I've mentioned that I enjoy it. I like talking about myself. Um, I think everybody does, though, right? We're all a little, we're all a, a little bit. Um, what's the word? It's not selfish, but you be we all we all have a bit of an ego, right? We like to talk about ourselves. People just do. It's just, it's just human nature to like talking about yourself. Which isn't to say that you have to like talking about yourself with everybody, but like when you find somebody who you are comfortable talking about with your like comfortable talking about yourself with, that's always just a, a nice a nice feeling, right? Hello, I saw your shadow. Don't think I didn't. Do the stalkers make shadows? I don't know. Give me that. Actually, you need to die because you can explode still. I think that'd be bad. That'd be real bad. Uh, some... What are those? Those are the, the, the quarter pounder with cheese. Dusted. Glocks are so good, man. We're not gonna use the two, the two Glocks, like, ever. We're never, we're never gonna dual wield Glocks. Maybe we'll do it for, like, a video sometime, but, like, I don't really think it's good. I think they're, uh, best used with the deagles both at t5 because the, the glocks like a single glock can take out a scraker flesh pound in one clip so you don't need to you get you get a little bit more burst output with it right but you also have to use a longer reload uh, less accuracy more spread you know all that kind of stuff and you sacrifice your tier 5 deagles. So, to me, the trade-off just isn't really in the dual deagle, in, in the dual Glock uh, favor. It's, it's really way better to have uh, the single Glock and the dual deagles. That's my opinion, I'm sticking to it. I'll be able to get the deagles and upgrade them, that's nice. And we'll be able to even afford ammunition, and we have armor, and we're totally filled up. That's pretty sick. I don't like this part because you got these like doors and it's like just don't be welded just escape please allow me to fight you without being like getting like a billion of them all at once because that's the part that really annoys me right is you get so many of them just building up in those things and then they all just unleash on you then you have this huge swarm instead of this continuous stream of them, right? 
To me, not a very good trade-off, but other people maybe I guess uh, it's pretty okay. Oh my goodness, Scrake right on top of me too. This ain't a good situation to be in. Oh my. Never walk across that bridge. That's a bad bridge to walk across. Don't walk across that bridge. That's what I'm learning here. This bridge is a little bit better because you do have a. It's shorter, and then you have a, a more open area at the end of it, right? I do have the deagles. They are upgraded once. We can take this guy out pretty easily. I'm going to go up the bridge anyway, even though I just said don't do it. Because I see that there's nothing over here. We're okay. I mean, they can spawn on the other side of it, too, though. It's the other thing, right? So they can spawn right there, so it's kind of bad. Ah, dang. Dang it. Gosh darn it. Dang flab it. Gosh darn flaying it. Alright, we'll do uh, an easier map today. We're going to do uh, Kill Zone. We'll do Kill Zone, because why not? Why not? I need something a little bit quicker, because this is at six and a half minutes, and we still got time to go. We're going to do some, some Commando, because I enjoy Commando, and I should be able to win on this map. I, I, would, I would expect us to be able to, to find completion relatively easily on this map. It's a pretty easy map, so we'll do Commando. Why not, right? One of the two perks on one video is a little bit frustrating for me, because I have to... You don't even get to get up to the top before they spawn, like... I'm so used to being Gunslinger, and I just run straight up to the top, and it's just like nothing, right? But on this on this character on this perk, you just you can't do that. You're just too slow. You're gonna get swarmed before you even get up there. Kind of nuts. That speed difference is uh, insane. I shot him in the face. I moused right over top of him. I clicked his head. I've got to watch the rest of, uh, I've been watching Iron-Blooded Orphans, it's one of the, the Gundam, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam thing series, it's part of that. One of my, uh, one of my friends wanted me to watch it, or he didn't, he was talking about it and I was like, hey, I'll watch it, it sounds okay. Again, the whole, he's passionate about it, so I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll also join in on this, it seems fine. Um, so I've got to get caught up in that. I've been getting back into watching anime a lot recently while I've been playing um, RuneScape. Let's see, what else am I going to do, right? Just put, on the, put something on on RuneScape, put something on to watch, and then uh, carry on with my life, you know? It's nice for being productive. A little bit too high on that. Shoot you in the face. Shoot you in the face. Not too bad. I don't like going up there if I don't have to. I prefer just to keep this as like a, a better ice arena kind of thing. To me, it's just a little bit more fun, you know? Just a little bit more fun. Just uh, explode these guys here. Oh, you jerk. You jerk! Am I out of nades now? Yeah, I am. Shoot. Is that not a one shot in the face? Yeah, we gotta take this guy. Commando's so good at taking those guys out, you know? Sharpshooter's probably the best, because you just get to shoot him in the chest once with pretty much any of your weapons and they die. But Commando's real good, because you get the, the high ammo capacity, right? So you get to just... Decent damage, high ammo capacity, high fire rate, so you just get to unload into them and then uh, they fall pretty easy. We'll upgrade this once, why not? Get a little bit of extra damage out of it, since we can't get the 501 yet anyway.
I love this weapon. I want to play demo, but I'm not high enough demo to be able to really get behind it too much yet. We do have to save some of these nades because we're going to have flesh pounds and stuff spawning too, which we have to worry about. Scrakes, not so much. can handle a scrake without uh, the nades. I do like to use them on them if I can, but I mean, at the same time, you don't really need it. We're going to try and land it right in the middle there to get both of them. We did not get both of them. I think we got one of them. Yeah, the one that we hit. Just hoping to maybe hit both of them. Thought that might be cool, but did not end up working out. I thought that was a scrake. I'm like, dude, you just got a mad speed boost there, eh? Didn't kill you? Why did it kill that other one? Was it the one that I didn't hit that, uh, that died then? So you don't want to hit them? You want to hit, like, the ground near them? Wow, one shot to the face, eh? It's pretty good. It's not too shabby at all. Oh, you're you're enraged now, eh? Not too bad. Takes them out not too hard. Um, it also can stumble them pretty pretty consistently, pretty reliably, which is good when you're trying to be. Uh, yeah, look at that. Decapitated. Just decap him right. Oh, it's a little bit too close for that. But you can get some good decaps going with the uh, with the grenade launcher there. So they do some serious impact damage. It's nice. It's very nice. Alright, now we're set up. This is uh, pretty good for camping these spots. I use this for colors instead. I love this weapon. My goodness. Yeah, I think you have to get the headshot and it's a one-shot on these guys with the upgrade. Without the upgrade though, it's uh, not a one-shot. Scrakes fall pretty quick with this too, which is nice. Man has got some decently high output, you know? I mean, they got a lot of bullets output, they got many bullets being output, but they got some, some pretty good uh, damage output going on as well. Let's see if we can't... Uh... Get a one shot on this guy. Oh, we... Uh... Dudded it. We dudded it. That's not a dud. That sure as heck ain't a dud. We need to get healed up a little bit, so we'll toss one of those there. It's a little bit slower firing, but this thing does some serious damage. And you get those healing nades, so it's fantastic. Healing nades that also have some pretty decent impact damage. Like, if we, uh, if we impact this guy in the face with... Oh, come on. Me dodged and I didn't have anything in it. Yeah, like it does a pretty good amount of impact damage, right? But it does significant more um, like shot damage, you know? Does that make sense? It does a lot of damage. It's a very good weapon. On uh, on commando, on medic, it's it's not so great, but on commando, it's a it's a fantastic weapon what I've, uh, I've come to learn. The stoner, you know, I'm sorry, you're you're great, I love you, but these, like, nades, this nade playstyle is just a lot more fun. Can I, like, shoot him in the chest with this and then blow him up? Does that work? Yeah, it totally does. That's awesome. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, there's no reason it wouldn't work, because it's a projectile, same as any other, right? But that's that's cool. I like that. That's a nice touch. You know, they probably don't even have to program it in. It just probably works. Right? Uh, bosses on this map are pretty hard. Patriarch, Hans... Uh, no. Patriarch and Matriarch are pretty difficult. Hans is the same as always, pretty much. Um, but you don't have any cover. So the boss fights are really hard. 
where you at. But this does significant damage. So, not too bad, all things considered. Once you get in headshots with it, you do a uh, butt ton of damage with it. Although you only have so many bullets too, right? Or bullets, so to speak. It's not actually bullets, but... Yeah, this guy's not super easy, but he's, uh... You know, it's still just Hans, so... We're using, we're using up more of this, uh, this, like, retreating area than I'd like to be using, honestly. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is what we gotta do for this, unfortunately. I don't really like it, though. That's why I don't like this map, just because there isn't enough cover. If I had more cover, I'd be a lot better, but... You don't really have that, so... Nice! I don't think I had to shoot him at all, but I think I was picking up some ammo crates as well, so... Maybe... Not shooting at all was a little disingenuous, but... All in all... Commando's pretty fun, I like it. I enjoy it a lot. I love shooting these nades everywhere. And having the medic nades in that 501. And anyway, that's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.